this forever, ever, hold it, never mind. Oh, I. that you'd catch in here would be bass, specifically largemouth, northern, and bluegill. So, but there is, a, it's mostly a pan fishing um, lake, but there is some very good sized bass in here. I have caught a, a, a couple of decent ones, um, not too many. They just, they're fat fish. They look like they're eating healthy, um, but I want to show you kind of how beautiful this area is. Look at that. Look how awesome that is. Look how clear. I don't know if you guys can see how clear it is. But it is just crystal clear. Look how beautiful it is out here. So, we're going to get out here. We're targeting bass today. We have finesse jig. Um, might as well just, you know, because the majority of the baits I'm going to be using today are from Meyer. So, might as well just call this the Meyer Challenge. Look at that. <laughs> First cast, guys. Look at this. Got him on the finesse jig. It's an okay size one. There, as soon as I hit the water, guys. <sighs> oh. First catch of the day. Here it is. Put this guy back. Probably all sitting in these weeds. Here he goes. Welcome back to another episode of I Suck at Fishing. Nah, just, just, just kidding. I do suck at fishing, but we're going to continue getting better. Anyways, we're back here at Forest. Honestly, if you guys haven't told or seen from the first part of the video, the Meyer Challenge was... Uh, absolute dud uh, for multiple reasons but we're not going to get into that so today we're back at forest and we're going to be targeting specifically largemouth bass so i'm actually going to give a shout out here to scuba joe show uh he does scuba diving videos uh you can look him up like i said scuba joe show it should pop up um he has done this uh lake before um he actually has done it with me uh, there is a lot of really good sized largemouth bass if you watch this video. Now, if you saw from earlier, I caught a largemouth with a finesse jig. So I thought coming back here and kind of just targeting largemouth bass, but with specific type of lures. So let me just take you and show you here. So we got the handy dandy Meyer bag. Now, I picked up, obviously as you guys saw, minus the swivels is these uh, Berkeley power baits, these power worms that I use as trailers. Uh, I'm gonna be using, once again, finesse jig. Um, I've caught a lot of largemouth off of these uh, little um, original uh, rooster tails. And then I got the uh, just a little bit bigger of a rooster tail. And surprisingly, because there is not a lot of you know fish other than the bluegill, the minnows, and the pike, I figured might as well pick up some Berkeley Power Bay Max scent flat nose minnows and do a little bit of uh, jigging with a jig head on there. I know it says right here best hook to use is a drop shot, but it is so weedy. So we're going to start with the finesse jig. There's also going to be two other ones that I have uh, used before, which is the 1 8 ounce spin bait that will be later on. And then I'll also be using the Whopper Plopper. Once again, I'll be later on towards more of the end of the evening. So we're going to get to it. And I just saw a humongous bass jump. I mean, just right out there. So this is going to be an awesome video. Here we go. I got a bluegill on this rooster tail. Look at this thing. Oh my God, look at this bluegill. <laughs> it's a 
hybrid, actually, I think. Look at that. There we go. Little blue bill. He actually managed He really got the sucker good. First catch of the day. Not even a large mouth, but a good sized bluegill. Let's put the sucker back in the water. Alright, catch number one down. Big old bluegill. Ooh, there we go, guys. First bass. Ooh, there we go. There we go. There we go, guys. Boom. Very little guy. But you know what? Dude, he smacked that thing. I don't know if you guys saw that. But he smacked the living crap out of that thing. Nice little guy for you. Good healthy fish. Look how fat he is, though. Good healthy fish right there. So guys, there we go. First bass of the day. Told you they were gonna like this thing. Oh, sorry dude. Bye. I got one. <laughs> Look at this guy. There you go. <laughs> Another good sized bluegill. Actually this is another one of those bluegill hybrid. It's such a pretty color. I don't know, I'll tell you. Show you guys this guy. See? See those, you know, those pretty colors right there? Check that out. And off that little, little tiny grub bait. Trying to put this guy back into the water. There we go. Got another bluegill. Actually, this is a pumpkin seed. I can believe. Two of those hybrids. Actually, this one might be a pumpkin seed. Alright, you guys tell me. I think this is a pumpkin seed, or otherwise, this is one of those bluegill pumpkin seed hybrids. Put them back. There he goes. Oh, holy shit! I got something. I don't know what it is. Holy, holy gill. Look at this guy. Holy cow. Look at that. It's a big bluegill. Wow. Here we go. We're going to toss him on back. There he goes. Wow. They'll take that any day. Hey, there we go. Second bass of the day. You know, we were catching everything besides these guys, and this is what we were specifically targeting. Another good, healthy largemouth. Love catching these guys.
So, off camera, as you guys can see, I caught another largemouth. Anyone know something funny? I think this is the one I caught earlier. Hey, knock it off. Hey, knock it off. You're going to hook me. Knock it off. Another little little guy, but like I said, another very, very healthy fish. But yeah, I think this is the same guy I caught earlier, otherwise he's been caught before, because there is a hook hole already. So this might be the same guy. But we're gonna let him go. There he goes. Awesome guys. Ooh, got another one. This time, we took a step below it. Knock it off. A little <clears throat> large mouth here. Sorry about the weird cup, but I can't talk. So, lar a little s large mouth here. The, 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 the little large mouth. Jesus Christ, I need to learn how to talk. But here it is. Caught him right there. Hey, there we go. This is a good one. Oh, it's a pike! It's a pike! <laughs> Look at this guy, guys. Hey. Wow. Feisty guy. No, knock it off. Did not see this coming. Wow. Ooh. Dang it. He got off. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs>